Tuesday, everybody. I am PT. Welcome to PT Show Top 5. Today, I'm going to give you all the latest entertainment news and much, much more right here on this show. It's called PT's Punch. If you've never seen this show before, I go from five and I go all the way down to number one. Somebody said, when, I, when they said you do PT Showbiz Top 5, I, I tune in. It took you so long to talk about uh, <clears throat> Portia and Ricky. What, uh, you need to go to number one, baby. If you don't want to wait, just skip on the number one. That's all you got to do. But if you do that, you're going to miss out on all the other good stuff. Like number five, <clears throat> I'm going to give you an update on Joe Jackson. Of course, show this top five, number four. I'm going to talk about the senseless killing that happened in the Bronx. I'm going to tell you what, what I think they need to happen to them. And of course, show this top five, number three. I'm going to talk about Meat Mills. He might be headed back to prison. Ain't that a mess? <laughs> Lord Jesus. And of course, show this top five, number two. Lee Daniels is into it with somebody, and I'm going to tell you who. And of course, show this top five, number one. Girl, it's Ricky Smiley and Portia Dayton. Oh, child, wait till I give you the dirt, honey. All right, let's move on. I have my celebrities <laughs> over in the other room. They are here, but their clothes are sh they've been sent to the cleanest. So they're going to the ATL with me. As you know, I'm <laughs> kicking off my birthday celebration. What, three more days and I'll be in the ATL. And I know I said yesterday that if you wanted to go to the... Um, the dinner that Saturday, you have to email the manager. Well, today I will be posting the manager's information on the bottom of this video. I promise you, okay? All right, all right, all right, all right. And also this weekend, I do have it right, <laughs> Thursday all the way up until Sunday, my girl Lunell will be at the Funny Bone, the Funny Bone. In the sh Richmond, Virginia. I'm going to say Charlotte. In Richmond, Virginia. Shout out to all of my people in the VA. Yes, I love Virginia. I'm going to be going to Virginia in Columbus Day weekend of this year, by the way. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Also, now listen, if you guys plan on sending something to P.O. Box, it's a little bit too late unless you overnight it because I'm actually leaving in a couple of days and I don't want it to just sit there, okay? Because the little Pakistani man might decide to go in it. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so, all right, so, uh, but if, if I know you very well, I mean, like, really, really well, like, if I really know you, then you can send it to my hotel, and I'll give you that information, but if not, you know, there's always the PayPal button, <laughs> okay, all right, so, my birthday is a two-week celebration, because my birthday is actually on the 10th, and a lot of people don't like to party after the 4th, that I'm actually going to be with my family on my actual birthday, so, it's a two-week celebration. When you know when you get in your fifties, child, you can celebrate a whole month, honey. Don't play with me, honey, girl, child. Anyway, and also I would like to warn you: if you do not like PT show, please, this is your opportunity to please click off at this time. <laughs> but I know you won't because you love me so much, and you hate me so much that you just gotta watch. And I'll sip to that <laughs> with my messes there. Damn, this punch is good today. All right. Here we go. Let's talk about Showbiz Top 5, number 5. Let's talk about Joe Jackson. Well, you know, yesterday, child, me and me and everybody else included were saying Joe Jackson was on his way out of here. Well, I have an update on Joe Jackson. And this is via his Twitter page. If you don't have Twitter, 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 he's on Twitter. And he said that Jay ja Joe Jackson said he has more sunsets uh, to see and the sun rises when, it, when the time comes, whether you like it or not. And the sunset when the times come. And Jermaine Dupree said, Jermaine Jackson said, no, but dying, my father dying is a harsh word. Well, y'all know how it is. When one person starts something, everybody gets to talking and running their mouth. I even said yesterday he's in his last days. I'm just telling you what is all over the internet and what's being reported. And he could be and maybe he just don't want everybody to know, you know. But like I said yesterday, Joe Jackson has led a great, he's led a life that he's left a legacy behind once he leaves. And we all got to leave, child. We all got a reservation that we can't cancel. And I'm going to Atlanta this weekend, but I can cancel that reservation. Uh-huh. But when it's time for you to meet your maker, ooh, hiya. <laughs> don't, make it, don't get me started up in here. That's a reservation that you can't cancel, baby. Uh-uh. That's one you can't cancel. You got to go. Baby, I don't get It ain't no excuses. Oh, no, 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 baby. You got to get on this train, honey. <laughs> this train going to take you, baby. All right. So, anyway, that's the latest thing. By the time you see this video, I don't know. Maybe something that would have changed. So, but we'll see. We're going to, again, keep the Jackson family in our prayers. All right. Um, I should have did this first, but I want to talk about uh, the young man they call Junior uh, who was murdered. 
um, in the Bronx, 15 years old, by a, a group of thugs who call themselves gangsters and um, um, part of a gang, and they killed this young boy because of a mistaken identity. Yeah, you, you killed this boy because you thought he was somebody else, and you dragged him to his death. Oh my God, you dragged this boy, this poor young boy to, this de to his death. And this young boy always dreamt of being a police officer. He was even a part of the NYPD um, stuff they had going on there in his, in his, in his neighborhood. And you mistakenly killed him with a, mach with a machete. And you, you low down dirty dogs. You, you drug him out to his death and stabbed him. 15 years old. You're not, you're not gangsters. You're not thugs. You're dogs. You're low down and you're dirty and you're nasty. You're no good. And when you go to prison and I know I got a sweetheart. And I know I got a sweet spirit in me, but I hope they do so much stuff to y'all when you go to prison. I hope you never see the light of day again. I hope that when you go to prison, they be, you become bitches and hoes. I hope that when you go to prison, they do some something to you that you won't want to ever happen to somebody in your family. And I hate to say that, y'all, but y'all killed this innocent little boy because you thought he was somebody else. What is the world coming to? Why did you do this to this little boy? Why did you take this little boy's life all because you thought he was somebody else? And then you had the nerves and the audacity to, to get in contact with his family members and say, oh, we're sorry because we made it. You should have been sorry for just waking up. You should have been sorry for just being alive. You should have been aborted before you was born. It makes no sense. And I know we all make mistakes, but it comes a time you have to grow up. You have to grow up all this gang stuff. Listen, if you're watching my show and you call yourself a gangster, there's no room for this stuff. There's no room for this stuff, baby. If you want to be a gangster, grow up and, and do something positive. Be a positive gangster. You know, and, 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 and y'all just go take 15 years old and you're sorry, MFs. Why did you just try to fight the boy one-on-one? -on -one? And you didn't even try to, need to try to fight the boy no way because all of y'all were pretty much bigger than he was anyway. And then you dragged him. If I had it my way, if I had it my way, I would take y'all back to that store and I would drag each one of y'all out of that store. I know this sounds mean and cruel, y'all, but sometimes, sometimes you just feel like this. I would take each one of y'all and drag you by your hair pull you out in the streets and have somebody cut your ass up and stab your ass with a machete as well. I can't believe y'all done this to the list. You, this, they had this, you see the big ox that was in there? How dare y'all? I hope you never see the light of day again. I hope they give you life on top of life, on top of life, on top of life, on top of life to take this little boy's life. 15 years old. Mistaken identity. Yeah. Your identity was a mistake too. To even be down on this earth. You don't, you don't deserve it. Only God can forgive you for the things that you did. Because I don't forgive you and I'll never forget it. I cannot believe y'all took this little boy's life. You know, because you call yourself gangsters. Well, you're going to be somebody's bitch in prison. And I hope they give it to you like just like you don't want it. I hope they give it to you every week, every day. You go. I hope before when your family members come to see you, I hope you got pink lipstick on your lips and I hope you're switching around like some bitch to do this to this little boy. I feel sorry for the mother. I feel sorry for the family. And I'm so glad that they caught these. First of all, you're stupid. You know that these days and times you can't do nothing in these stores. They got cameras everywhere. You stupid motherfuckers, you gonna go and you gonna see cameras are everywhere That's, first of all, what kind of IQs do y'all have? What is your IQ like? You probably don't even have a damn IQ. To not know that they don't have cameras in these fucking stores 
I'm done with this. I, I shouldn't be cussing and I shouldn't say the things that I just said, but I meant every goddamn thing I said. I wish they would take y'all and drag y'all asses out to the middle of the street and stab y'all hearts and just take your hearts out because you didn't have a heart to take this little boy's life. It didn't take all of y'all to do that. You ain't no gangster. You're sorry motherfuckers. You're sorry motherfuckers to take this boy out of there like that and to do him like that. You're sorry. And I hope that when you go to prison, all of y'all turn into bitches because that's what you're going to be. And I hope you get the biggest man in prison to, to bitch your ass out. I hope you, you just... You never had it up your butt before? And you probably you probably don't like gay people no way. Well, you know what? When you go to prison, they're going to make you out of a bitch. And I hope that they do. I hope that when they make you out of a bitch, it bothers you so bad that you lose your mind. I hope that you go crazy knowing that somebody fixed to do something to do that you never wanted to do them to do to you. Oh, yeah. I mean every word I say, y'all. I don't know it's mean and cruel and evil, but I mean every word that I say. May he rest in peace, Junior. This is a mess. I don't know if you guys heard. This is breaking news that Meek Mills is, might be going back to prison. Um, they just won't let him be free, man. They just don't, they won't let this boy free. According to NBC, uh, they said that the appeal that was originally from 2008 conviction was overturned, and he has been denied by the very same asshole judge who was trying to give him two to four years. <clears throat> Um, Judge Janice Brinkley said that Meeks did not meet his burden of proof despite the fact that the officer who arrested him and allegedly beat him violently, Reginald Graham, has been presented by uh, has been presented to corrupt in the 47th page opinion. Now, Brinkley questioned whether or not the prosecutors have done thoroughly uh, done um, done enough investigation into the alleged misconduct of the officers. You know. Man, this is crazy. And of course, you know they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna over, they're gonna try to repeal this and everything. But this just is a mess. Uh, you know, I, you know when he got out, I was saying, oh lord, he's doing too much. I think he need to just chill. You know what I mean? Because you know they own him and they're looking for a reason to, to sit him back. But hopefully his lawyers, he got, he has good lawyers and they got him out. So hopefully he. He get he stays out and hopefully this is the end of that. That judge, I don't know what her problem is, but I I knew the story. I saw the story. They hit they beat me Mills allegedly, and they 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 planted stuff on him and they did a lot of things to this young man that he didn't do. I mean, it was a lot of corrupt police officers there in Philly. I mean, it's corrupt police officers everywhere. Huh, not to mention what they did to the young man, young man and killed, shot him in the back up there in Pittsburgh. So I'm going to keep you guys posted on this. I don't think he's going to go back to prison, but uh, that's the latest on Meek Mills. It's just see, like this is, I thought, we thought this was the end of it. But no, it's not. So I'll keep you guys posted on Meek, free Meek Mills. I hope he got some, well, I was hoping that while he was out, he had some music in his music game. That's the first thing he should have did when he got out to start recording songs. Maybe I'm sure that's what he did. I don't know. But anyway, we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. Try everything that look good ain't good for you, huh? <laughs> anyway, here's the latest. Uh, Damon Dash is going out the lead down. He's uh, saying he's screwed him out of some money and he wants his money. Now, the Rockefeller mogul claims that Daniels promised him to get him out, get him on his EP for the Richard Pryor a biopic, right? Well, along with 5% of Daniels, uh, of, the pro of the profits. Well, according to Daniels, uh, he bailed out for the project and didn't deliver his promises to Damon Dash. So Damon Dash is suing him for five, for 50, for $5 million. Now, it's, it's interesting how Dash was confronting him. If you watch the video here, he was going in. And this is what they're saying. They say that Dash and Daniels in 2014, uh, Dash sued Daniels in 2014 over an alleged, an alleged loan and that he never got back. And the new suit stems from the settlement agreement that he struck with him in 2015. This is a mess. <laughs> mess. Y'all, look at the video. Just look at this video, baby. They was going in on this video. Oh. I'm surprised he didn't hold off and haul off and step the shit out of him. But Lee Daniels got the money. If he if that's what it is, Lee Daniels, just get a man his money. He child, he was confronting him at the damn Donna Ross bowl. It was the Hollywood Bowl last week. Uh, <laughs> it was at a Donna Ross show. You could hear Donna Ross singing in the background. What the uh, ain't no mountain high enough? 
Just reach out and touch somebody's hand, child. <laughs> it's a mess. Anyway, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Listen, if you're older man, just give him the money. If you're older man, just give him the money. Lee Daniels got five. He got five million dollars. That ain't no money to him. That's five dollars to me or to him. To that five dollars is five dollars to him. Five million is five dollars to him. That's it. He's got the money. If he don't have the money, well, it's him and Oprah cool. I guess him and Oprah cool. Get it from Oprah. Oprah got it, and you can give it back to her. Give her a million dollars back a year. You'd be paid off. She won't miss it. <laughs> she she's not gonna be hurting. This is a mess. Yes. Uh, hold on. This is uh, Tyler Perry. Uh-huh. Yes, I'm talking about Lee Daniels. It's a layer that he owe uh, Damon. Yeah, child, for some damn buy you pick. Yeah. Uh, can you loan him the money, Tyler? You got it. Uh, oh, you can't because you got your kid and everything. All right. Well, we'll we're going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you, too, because you know you got the money, child. I mean, sir. Okay, Tyler. Talk to you later. I'll be in Atlanta this weekend. You gonna take me out to eat? All right. It's Tyler Perry. <laughs> anyway, child, y'all a mess. Ah, so I keep I keep y'all posted on this. This is a mess, child. This video is is a mess. So anyway, we're gonna move on to the next one. Let's move this on. This is gonna be some juicy mess right here, honey. Well, girl, my sources are telling me that Rick and Somalia and Portia are a couple. Aww. It's alleged that they are together. I was minding my own business yesterday and I got a text. Now, I'm going to Atlanta this weekend. I guess I can hit up Rick and see if he'll give me an interview. See if he'll let me interview him about what's going on between him and Portia. So, anyway. Well, I don't know if you heard or not, when Ricky Smiley was on Watch What Happens Live, he said that, you know, Portia's been in his house. And he said that she, she slept upstairs in the guest room. Ah. Huh? Hold on, it's Gary with the T. What'd you say, Gary? Uh-huh. You don't think they dating? Okay, all right. Gary's so messy. He don't know nothing. Get Gary back there. Gary with the T said they not they anyway, child. He said that he's that Porsche has been to his house. She wanted to get away from Atlanta. Well, why would you go all the way to get uh, to Alabama just to get away? Mm -hmm. And you slept up at the guest house. And Ricky told me he wanted to go up there. Lucy Satan. <laughs> he said that Portia was not on Disney Nation. He would date her. Mm-hmm. Well, I understand that. I do understand where Ricky's coming from because, you know, if you fall out with somebody and y'all work together, it's going to be a lot of tension, you know, on, on the show. And next thing you know, since Ricky the boss, he's going to have to fire Portia. But if she wasn't on this nation, yeah, he said he would date her. You know, it's a chance that he would date her. Huh. Hmm. Take her out to take her out on a date or whatever. I don't, child, I don't know what to think. Do you think Ricky Smiley and Portia... I they make a good, Ricky needs somebody. Ricky been f trying to find him a woman ever since he left Dallas, and I understand his situation because he don't want to be, you know, everybody don't, you can't trust everybody, and you don't know if they want you for your money, or if they want you for your uh, uh, for your for your fame and your money, or if they want you for, Ricky has a really, really kind heart. I've told y'all the story about Ricky Smiley and my relationship with him. When he moved to Dallas, he was very nice. He always invited us to his shows. I did a couple of shows of his shows. I remember one time, Ricky. If you never seen Ricky Smiley's uh, comedy show, like like not in a big circuit, but like like in a club, he used to host a little karaoke thing. It's so much fun. Ricky does. He does. He'll play the old school. Like he'll play the old school. Take it back. And baby, he'll throw it through gospels. <laughs> I remember one time I had showed up and I had sat on the front, I tried the front, and and Ricky. Uh, when Ricky started playing the gospel music, child, I jumped down in the floor and Ricky threw that shit over me. <laughs> Ricky is a damn fool. But he just, I feel, I understand, I, I can understand why Ricky wouldn't rush into getting in a relationship with somebody because because he is famous. And because of one thing that would be good if him and Portia do get together, she's famous and he's famous. I'm not saying that that, make, that would make it work because it make make it work with somebody that ain't famous. And now one thing he don't need to do is get with somebody that ain't got, that's not on his level. The same with Portia too because and Portia's on his level, but he needs to be, get with somebody. And do y'all do y'all really feel like that if Ricky Smiley or any celebrity gets with somebody that don't have money, it's going to work? No, because you're constantly going to be like Ken do. 
Yes, ma'am. Mary J. Blige. Who are the celebrities here today? Yes, Mary. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know y'all find, finalized the divorce, and I know you say he got what a a gold digger. Yes, honey. <laughs> I know, child. He a mess. Did he get the did Mary? Did he get the money that he wanted? Or you can't say it's confident. Talk to me and tell me that I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Mary J. Blige. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all. If 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 Ricky gets with somebody. <laughs> Or a celebrity get with somebody, even if she's not the person is not a celebrity, she needs to have the kind of money that Ricky has because she needs to, she don't need to be handing a hand, having a handout wanting stuff because Ricky's a very very giving guy, you know. Like I said, when he lived in Dallas, he was very nice. You know, he put people on his shows. He I remember one time Ricky's so stupid. Child, I remember one time they had a fake funeral. It was so funny. Ricky had and had I had showed up and. Dressed up as an old woman, doing cartwheels and backflips in the church when the, they had the funeral. It was a mess. Ricky is a lot of fun. And I, I wish him nothing but the best. I don't know if this is true. It's all alleged. But I hope that he, whoever he finds, that they that they, they do him right because he's definitely going to do them right. So anyway, and he don't need to ask Gary because Gary don't know. He don't have his own damn relationship. <laughs> anyway. Gary, my sister child, she Gary need to find him my, his well, Gary might already have a man. I don't know. I'm going to Atlanta this week and I'll see. <laughs> anyway. All right, y'all. I PT with PT Show with Sci Five. I love every last one of y'all. The information is below to contact my manager about where I'm gonna be for um my birthday celebration this weekend in Atlanta that Saturday. Now, if you email me and I don't know who you are, I'm not responding. Sorry. All right. And also, I will tell you this. When you do email me, you do have to send a picture. All right. You do have to send a picture to my uh, to my manager. All right. I'm PT with all the latest entertainment news right here on PT Show. Let's talk about the day. Of course, it's the terrible Tuesday. Turn up. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit it and hit that button that says all. Because every time I go live or if I do a video, it'll pop up to your phone or your device. Also, make sure you just follow me on Twitter. It's uh, PT Showbiz. And, of course, on Instagram, PT Showbiz. And also on Periscope, where I do, you know, where I play old school music on Periscope and talk about all kinds of stuff. All right. I'm PT. Don't forget to, guys, please support my show by sharing and liking and commenting. I love you guys. You guys take care. Whatever you do, tell somebody about PT. T's show this top five. See you guys soon. Unless there's breaking news. Bye. Take care, y'all.